Hi, Kim Morrison here, creator and founder of 28. This week I've been asked a question in particular all about how to calm, full-on, fractious, over-the-top, stressed children. Now, as mummies, we all know that one of the most important things to focus on is how to keep ourselves calm. So everything I'm going to share with you today and which oils and how to use them, how to keep our children calm, I want you to also think about those methods of use just for you. So first up, let's think about what makes children cranky, tired, upset, and incredibly hard work. Well, often it's they're hungry, it's around their food, or they're tired. So at the end of the day, if you are not too stressed, you're gonna cope with that easily. But how about using some of these tools to in fact make a difference through those times that we call people call happy hour. I tend to call it hideous hour sometimes because I know that for many of us mummies, that afternoon shift and getting them into bed is probably sometimes the most hardest. So first up, one of the things that I've always done with my children is created things called beautiful candlelit baths. So bath time can be really tough, but for me, if I turn around, if I knew that they were getting upset, I was getting upset, I would say, hey, tonight we're going to have a candle bath. And they would get so excited when they were little. All it meant, they were having exactly the same thing, but all we'd do is light vaporizers and candles around the bathroom. Of course, making sure everything was safe. But my number one oil to have for, for any type of home, whether you are one child or many children, is definitely a bottle of lavender. Lavender is your dream mum in a hug. It is your dream mum in a bottle. It is the mother of all oils. It is the number one oil for calming. It's the safest oil with children. So simply running a bath with a cup of magnesium salts, adding four to six drops of a beautiful lavender oil, and then putting the children in there with the candle lit bathroom. And I don't know, you can add things like music in there, some calming music. For me with my children, one of the most important things was keeping it into a routine. Bath time was kind of like the start of the wind down. So by using beautiful calming oils like lavender, chamomile, geranium, even beautiful orange oil, these oils in combination or on their own are fantastic to use just a couple of drops into a bath. So yeah, take that on as a tip, using the candles as a once in a blue kind of one-off treat when they are really over the top and hard work. Candlelit baths work really well, and especially if you've got more than one child, they tend to really get into it. One of the other things that I love having always on hand is a spritzer. So I've created spritzers and still now, even with my teenage children, they have one of these spritzers next to their bed and they have instant calm in it. Now every night when I go in to kiss them goodnight, I simply do a little spritz. Now this all started when Taylor was two years of age. She's now 17. She woke up in the middle of the night. She'd had a really bad dream. I went in there and I said, oh darling, I'll make you up a nightmare blend. And she goes, I don't like nightmares. And I thought, oh my gosh, how powerful a message is that from our children? So I said to her, sweetheart, if I made you up this blend, what would we call it? And she called it her angel fairy dust blend. So every night, still to this day, her angel fairy dust blend is right beside her. And as I kiss them goodnight, I do this beautiful little spritz, even my 15-year-old son, and we use her angel fairy dust blend, which is in fact instant calm. So Instant Calm is one of my favorite oils of all for all us mummies. One of the other great tips you can do with this when you pick them up from school and they're full on, often they're tired and grumpy, often they have an argument, I simply get a tissue, I put a couple of drops of Instant Calm onto a tissue and then you place that into the air vent and you put that into the air vent of the car. When they hop into the car, you make sure that the windows go up, you put it on lock, they can't get out, they have to breathe, and it's beautiful. Not only does it get you calm, but it creates this whole beautiful atmosphere in the car for on the drive home. Also suggest you have a, a bag of apples sitting there or a couple of apples. Often they'll want something sugary after school because they're hungry and they're wanting that sugar hit. So just if you, the only thing you've got in the car is a bag of apples, trust me, after a while they'll get to learn that the only thing to have after school, the snack in the car, is an apple. So this is a beautiful tool, one to two drops on a tissue. On their way to school, if they're upset, you can get them to put it into their top and remind them that this angel fairy dust blend is going to be an extraordinary thing to do for them to help breathe, to calm, to take three deep breaths, and just to honor the importance of calming and relaxing that diaphragm. 
I cannot begin to tell you how popular Instant Calm is. This combination of oils has helped people sleep through the night when they haven't slept before. It's good for heart palpitations and it's absolutely wonderful for calming a busy mind. So again, mummies and daddies, remember everything I'm saying is a good tip for you too to ensure that you yourselves stay calm and relaxed. One of my other favorite blends that we have at 28 is the De-Stress and Revive. Now this oil, one of the oils in here is neroli. Neroli is considered the rescue remedy of essential oils. It is one to help calm and relieve stress. It's really good at helping to calm a busy mind also, but it's incredibly good at calming our muscles. So remember, De-Stress and Revive is also a beautiful blend to use in a bath but I also love to use it as an inhalation. So simply get a stainless steel or glass bowl. If you're worried about how young they are, then make sure you put the bowl into a sink so it can't be spilled. But warm to hot water, and then teach your children to close their eyes, put three to four drops in that beautiful bowl of warm water, towel over the head, rubbing their back and saying nice positive things while they do an inhalation. Now you can tell them that the steam is good for their skin and that breathing in these oils is really good for their nervous system and it's going to help them sleep and have beautiful dreams. And you can even do it to them and telling them how amazing they are, what a great day they, are, they had at school, how to tell them what extraordinary young beings they are and how proud you are of them. Just that little ritual and rubbing their back while they're breathing in these oils creates a beautiful, powerful new neurochemical loop into the brain to help them feel that when they smell that smell again, they're going to be reminded how powerful they are, what extraordinary little human beings they are, how relaxed they feel, and they'll remember the feeling of having their mummy or daddy rubbing their back and making them feel really super, super important. So that's another gorgeous ritual. Another one for me is using uh, Instant Calm with the uh, magnesium oil. So simply two sprays of magnesium into the palm of your hand, adding a drop or two of Instant Calm or lavender, rubbing your hands together and massaging their feet before they go to sleep is another great little ritual you can introduce that supports them to help calm and get themselves into a beautiful space ready for sleep. Some people like to use music. There's some fantastic apps on the phone that have white noise in the background. My daughter still to this day will use white noise on her phone. She'll put it to airplane mode so that we don't have the Wi-Fi, but she'll put that on and still to this day, she loves the sound of waves or she loves the sound of beautiful crickets in the forest or any of those sorts of things that you can download. And a lot of the time they are free. One other thing that I'd encourage that you do is to get your vaporizer out. Make sure that you use the vaporizer either in the bedroom, you can use it with a diffuser, one of those beautiful electric diffusers that when it runs out of water, it will actually turn itself off, or the vaporizer. Gorgeous way to create a new space, a new um, state. You can have that on the table at dinner time, so when they sit down after their baths, continue the realm of calm by having that vaporizer in the middle of the room, uh, sorry, in the middle of the table, and say a little grace, a little prayer before you eat, how grateful you are for the animals and plants that have given up their lives in order for you to all stay beautifully healthy. Just use powerful words, awesome smells, and you will anchor in these amazing rituals into helping keep a calm and happy life at home. And of course, my favorite last method of use is by making your beautiful family a massage blend. So you can add, again, any of those oils, just lavender on its own, two sprays of magnesium because it's fantastic at helping muscles relax. You can also add de-stress and revive or instant calm and beautifully massage them after they've had their bath. It's a really nice way to teach them the daily body boost as children, as young babies, and I can promise you there has not been a day that my children have not had essential oils used in their lives from the moment they were born. So from a point of view of looking after you mummies and daddies, make sure you take on all of these methods of use. Make sure you've got your angel fairy dust blend in your bag. When you're trying to console fractious children or when they're grumpy or when they're fighting, maybe you take three deep breaths before you go into the room. There's nothing worse than a yelling mummy. It upsets the children, it upsets yourself. We then go through all the guilt as mums for being such bad mums that we're not good at keeping the home calm. But I hope that that helps. 
please post your comments below. Let me know what you think and what you do to help calm your children. What are some of the tools and techniques you've been taught through different therapists? What are some of the ways that you've found best works for you? Which oils, which 28 blends do you use? Please share below. And from now on, I'm going to encourage each and every one of you, if you've got a question, anything to do with skincare, chemical-free living, children's health, maybe even what I've done from a nutritional point of view. I'm not saying I'm a nutritionist, but I can certainly share my experiences. I really want us to start using this platform as a way that we mummies can share and really start building this community of helping one another to get through, whether it's newborns, toddlers, just starting school, teenagers, and even when they're adult children. How do we look after ourselves to be the best we can be in order to support them to be the best that they can be? I look forward to your comments below. I look forward to sharing with you my beautiful product of the week this week. Recipes, do not miss out on them. They're extraordinary and delicious this week. And I really look forward to sharing with you more insights next week. In the meantime, be kind, take care, and look after yourselves. Oh, I didn't stop.